Sierra Leone, West Africa. A farmer harvests the fruit from his palm trees. Palm oil is the most widely produced vegetable oil in the world. It's not only used for cooking, cosmetics, or candles, but also as a source of energy. At the start of 2015, Africa's largest palm oil mill went into operation in Sierra Leone. This is all the land we have left for our own crops, says Hudia Mambu from Putina, a village just a few kilometers away. A bit of swamp, which is just about good enough to grow rice. And in the dry season, we can grow a little maize too, but it's not enough to live on. 90% of the villagers have leased their land to Sokfin, an international plantation operator. But fewer than 10% of them are employed on the plantation. According to Fudia, it was only the strong men who got a job. The village in the south of Sierra Leone is suffering. People are hanging around with nothing to do. The money they got for their land has long been spent. The land belongs to the people, but traditionally, it's the paramount chief who makes the decisions, John Fogbana explains. The villagers weren't really involved in the negotiations. They were promised a great many things, schools, streets, but few of the promises were kept. As John Fogbana points out, education should be a priority. After all, how else can people find a job when they don't have any land? In my opinion, what has been done until now has been far below expectations. Fudia can consider herself lucky, because her husband found work at Sokfin. In the afternoon, the former farmer, who has now become a farm worker, comes home from the plantation. I got just under a thousand dollars for the two hectares I leased out for 50 years. I bought a zinc roof with that and paid off our debts, but I don't have any money left now. That is why Welt Hungerhilfe supports the villagers with subsidized food or seeds, depending on their needs. Real help on an individual level. But it doesn't solve the fundamental problem. Gola Klomahun, a neighboring village which is not under the influence of Sokfin. Mohamed Kane harvests the fruit from his oil palms. His plantation has been family-owned for generations. His wife helps him. It's a simple life. When he wants to find out what is happening outside of his village, he listens to his battery-powered radio. His tools consist of a machete and an axe. He has also heard about the promises of the large plantation operators and the government. They also tried to convince us to give up our land. But I want to look after my family on my own. We shouldn't lease out our land. We really shouldn't. Together with local partner Green Scenery, Welt Hungerhilfe helps farmers like Mohammed deal with foreign investors. For instance, by providing legal assistance to make sure that local people are involved in the negotiation process, that leases are not too long, and that the area receives the development support it needs. Mohammed starts a fire with moss from the forest to cook the fruit from his palm trees and extract the oil. It's perhaps not as technologically advanced as what happens on the industrial plantations, but it is in harmony with nature and tradition. The people in Gola Klomahun seem happy with their lives, unlike those in Potine. They have enough land to grow their palm trees and also cassava, which is a staple in West Africa. And their attitude is clear, to stay independent.